Hi, folks. Uh, there are dumb ways and there are smart ways to advertise on uh, digital advertising on Google and Facebook. Um, we have a lot of people come to us who say, I've tried advertising on Google, I've tried advertising on Facebook. It doesn't work. Well, when you think about it, Facebook and Google are the biggest publishers on the planet. The only revenue they get is from advertising. So if advertising didn't work per se, they wouldn't even exist. So it must work, but there are dumb ways of doing it and there are smart ways of doing it. I'm going to show you. So here's one example of a not very smart, not very scientific way of doing it. I've done a search for, random search for say, laser hair removal in Sydney. And what this brings up at the very top of the page is an ad for this business here, clearskinclinics.com.au. Now, that's all very well. There's an offer there, uh, $39 was $69. But when you click on the ad, it takes you to the front page of their website where there's no relationship between the what they see on the website and what the ad is offering. And neither is there any way of taking up that offer right there and then. Here's another example. This is a search for a hairdresser in a town called Orpington in the UK. And I'll show you why I'm uh, using this example in a moment. But there's two ads here. Uh, hair salon, Orpington, locks hairdressing, treat yourself to a new style today, same day appointments, blah, blah, blah. Here's another one for a rival salon, uh, up to 50% off, uh, available this weekend. Now, if you go on this ad here, it takes you through to the home page of their website. Nothing, no offer, uh, nothing special about that. The other ad, this one here, takes you through to this website, which has no relationship whatsoever to the uh, ad that they're spending money on. And remember, every time people click on an ad like that, it costs this business money. But there's a smarter way to do it. Have a look at this. This is a Google ad that uh, we set up, an ad campaign we set up for one of our clients in the same town of Orpington in the UK. Now you can see from that ad, there's an offer, £29.95, .29 and that takes you through to a particular page on their website. This is called a landing page. It's a page that uh, takes traffic only from that ad. They can only come to this page from that ad and they can't navigate elsewhere, wander around the website getting distracted. The ad is very, very specifically related to, sorry, the landing page is very specifically related to the ad that people see and click on. And when they come to this page, we put some code, Google code and Facebook code, because we're running Facebook ads to this as well. The code records every single person that comes to this page and also records the number of people who fill in this form here to get that offer. Now, since we set that page up, we used a, a, a form on that page and we can record everybody who comes to the page through the Google code and everybody who comes to the page and actually fills that form in. Now, these are some of the test pages we've done. This is the form that relates to that particular page, that page there. And you can see here that if you look under the headings, uh, unique visitors to that particular page 1,594 since we set that ad up, and 111 people have filled in that form saying, yes, I want that offer. Now that is really, really measurable advertising. Now that structure of ad to landing page can work for any, any business really. Um, here's a landing page we set up for a client of ours, uh, a client that owns a chain of childcare centers in um, Victoria. And this is a landing page offering a free $500 credit for first time enrollments for children at their uh, childcare centers to boost enrollments. Now, the ad we ran to, uh, to that was uh, this one here. So that's a Facebook ad. We also ran, um, we're running, continuing to run a, a Google campaign. That ad directs them to that page there. And when they fill in that form, uh, they're contacted by the business. And that has resulted in uh, 116 mums and dads filling in that form to get that $500 credit. And the uh, childcare centres enrolments have been boosted considerably by that process. Here's part of a campaign we're running for a liquid waste management company down here in the southwest of WA. Here's a Google ad and, uh, and here's a Facebook ad. 
and both of those ads point to a dedicated landing page on that company's website. Looks like this. Nowhere else for them to go except to either request a booking or make a phone call. And that company has had a surge of uh, bookings um, and appointments in business uh, since those ads started running just a few weeks ago. So if you're going to advertise on Google and Facebook, and I recommend that you look at it because it is effective if it's done the right way, do it the smart way, not the dumb way. The dumb way is just sending uh, people from your ads to the homepage of your, your website and hoping that some of it sticks. The smart way is setting up the infrastructure of the landing page with the re relevant code in the back of it, uh, the relevant uh, opt-in forms, so that you can measure every dollar you spend on that advertising. And the beauty of it is, is that both Google and Facebook have intimately intricate uh, reporting mechanisms in the back end. And the smarter you do it, the less you spend on your advertising because of the way that the algorithms are set up within Google and Facebook. The more relevant your landing page is to your advertising material, the less you're going to spend on your advertising dollar. So I hope that's been useful um, in showing you just a couple of ways that you can make your advertising more efficient and more effective on Google and Facebook. Uh, if you need any help, uh, get in touch. The number's on your screen or you can uh, message me and I'll walk you through some of those processes one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Thanks for watching.